You hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this blog ad-free. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome to Inkdependence. I'm Mike, and my friend Mike Allen came up to me at a uh, San Francisco pin show, I want to say, and said, Hey Mike, come over to the table when you got time. I, uh, I've got something for you. I said, oh, cool. And he said, it's orange. You're going to like it. And I'm like, yeah. And he comes and he goes, here you go. And it's this very nice orange Sharpie, uh, which was a hilarious joke. And I dug it. And also, this is not a bad Sharpie. But it's not the pen we're talking about today. We're talking about this pen, which is actually the pen that Mike had in mind for me. Uh, because he knows I love orange and swirly things and chatoyance. Look at that stuff. And so this is a pen by my friend Mike Allen over at The Woodshed Pen Co. Uh, he gave me this sort of just because we're pals. He didn't ask me to review it, but I'm gonna because a lot of people are getting their hands on these right now because there's a big Kickstarter. And so you might start seeing these online and be like, I wonder what these are like. Well, what they're like is a pretty cool pen. Now, Mike only does one style of pen. He has this model. I don't even think it has a name. This is the Woodshed Pen, uh, and uh, I think that's totally fine. He's got this thing dialed in. It is a, a very nice shape. The finishing is good, all that jazz. So let's take a look at it. These are made of acrylic uh, of various kinds, uh, standard acrylics like this one that are kind of swirly. You got Aluma lights, which are... Uh, like uh, like this one, which have a different sort of tone to them. Sometimes Mike makes his own materials. Sometimes he gets them from uh, other sources like Jonathan Brooks over at Carolina Pinco or uh, several others, I imagine. I don't actually know where this one came from. Uh, these come with number six Yovo nibs. So you can throw in whatever Yovo nib unit you like. I believe you can buy these with or without nibs on his site. So if you have uh, a pen that you, uh, you're like, oh, I like that body, that pen, but like, I don't know, I got a bunch of nibs and I need something to put those nibs in. This is one of those things. Uh, these are cartridge and converter fill. You could also eyedropper these, but I never eyedropper pens. Well, almost never. Uh, it's just not my jam, but you can with these pens if you like. A little silicone grease here and uh, here at the nib unit and you'll be good to go. There aren't any uh, holes or anything in here to worry about. So, these come in at 135 bucks, which I think is a very reasonable price for a pen like this. These are, of course, hand-turned and finished by Mike himself in what I assume is a woodshed. Uh, I haven't seen it, but the, given the name of the company at all. And uh, these come in at about 5 inches capped. I'll have all the stats at the very end of the video, but uh, about 5 inches capped and a little under 5 inches uh, with the cap off. So, you can see there's actually not much... Not much difference here between capped and uncapped links. They're pretty much the same. It's like 5.03 inches versus 4.86 inches. So, you know, not much. Uh, this is a fairly small pen. It's almost in pocket pen category for me, I think. Uh, let's see how, how big it is compared to this pocket 66 I just had from Franklin Christoph. Yeah, about the same length. Slightly shorter, just a hair under the Franklin Christoph length, I think. So a fairly pocketable pen, if a larger pocket, I suppose. It doesn't post. Uh, they are the same. Same, uh, same width back here, so no dice. And there are no clips. It's a very clean, sort of minimalist aesthetic he's got going on here uh, in terms of design. The, 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 the materials can be a little bit wild sometimes. So no pocket depth or anything like that. The section diameter is right in my sweet spot, I think, which is about 10 to 11. This comes in at 10.9 millimeters up here and goes up to 11.8 up here near the thread. So a very sort of gentle, uh, gentle... Uh, 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 grade there, and uh, it's a fairly lightweight pen. Like it's all, it's just, it's it's acrylic, so there's not a whole lot. There's not metal in there making it real heavy or anything like that. Uh, as far as pen comparisons, let's take a look at it next to a bunch of other things for size. There you go. We'll slot it there in the middle. This is a pretty medium-sized pen as far as these things go. You hear you have the Twisby Eco, the Lamy Safari. This is the Platinum 377, 3776 Nice Pure, uh, which is a beautiful one, I think. This is the Franklin Christoph 45, sorry, 46 model. There's the Woodshed Pen Company pen. Here is a Retro 51 for you rollerballers. Here is a Kaveco Sport for you sporters. And uh, from Ian Schoen, the, uh, the Pocket 6. So quite a lot larger than the Pocket Pocket 6 and the uh, um, uh, the Kaveco Sport. Let's take off some caps though so we can see effective links for these things. And there you go. So it's kind of in the middle here. It's definitely a little bit longer than your 3776s, about almost exactly the same actually as the 46, and a little bit shorter than your posted versions of pocket pens over here. So a good size pen, I think. I have no problem getting this nib on paper, uh, which for some short, shorter pens that don't post uh, with big hands like mine, that can be a little bit of a problem, but I've never had that problem here. Okay, so thank you very much for checking this out with me. Uh, I like this pen a lot more than I thought I was going to. It's a very simple 
sort of look. And I was like, I don't know if that's for me. But having used this quite a bit uh, with my uh, this Franklin Christoph nib I've put in here, uh, it works very, very well. So there you go. Thank you very much, uh, Mike, for uh, gifting me this <laughs> ages ago. And I uh, hope you all check out Woodshed. I'll have his link and information down here in the in the uh, the description. See you later. Peace out.